primarily uh, where you obtain an application for the uh, 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 Puppy Linux is through a Puppy Package Manager. Um, and but what if uh, you do not the your uh, Puppy Package Manager does not have the uh, uh, application that you want to use? The, then the other option is uh, to use a, a portable uh, application that only works in Puppy Linux. And I recently I made a little video on uh, how to uh, get hold of a, a portable uh, uh, program y you need. And uh, this portable pro program has all the uh, dependencies and configuration file within it, so it makes it very easy to use uh, in a Puppy Linux. But still, there is another way of obtaining a uh, application and using in Puppy Linux, and I, uh, these are app images, and I use uh, two uh, different app image programs. Uh, 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 almost daily, and uh, a shortcut is uh, is a video uh, editor. LibreOffice is a uh, similar to Microsoft uh, Office Suite. So, how can you? Uh, how does it differ? App Image and Portable App Image uh, works in uh, all of. Uh, uh, Linux uh, world uh, distribution, so it will work either in Ubuntu or Debian or Arch Linux, uh, and also include uh, in uh, uh, Puppy Linux. However, uh, I uh, tried the Proxmi 4.5 uh, uh, app images, and uh, only uh, f uh, only one did not work in uh, Puppy Linux. So. Obviously, the ones that I I use uh, and uh, works very well. So, where can you get the uh, a program that you may need? What you can do is go to this website, and I'll uh, link it for you uh, in the under the description, and then um, and find the app image. And uh, for example, what I'll do is uh, look for a Blender. Which is a fairly complicated, uh, uh, large uh, program, uh, and uh, I never used it. But uh, I know uh, I I want to just show you how to download an app image and how to use it. So I simply click download, and then wait a few seconds until it downloads, and then uh, and then I have it here in downloads uh, folder so it's very easy to use so just about the only thing you have to do is just make it executable so within where the uh, file is so you can just go ahead and uh, fire up a terminal and then uh, give it a command of uh, executable command of plus x and the name of the file and then you'll see in a rocks file it uh, changes the color to tell you that uh, that it is executable now. And then once it's executable, uh, then what you can do is just go ahead and click on it and see if it works. And it's that easy and it does work. And uh, because it's a fairly complicated uh, 3D uh, rendering program, it takes uh, a few seconds in my slow computer, but it this is uh, what it looks like, and uh, it works. Very, uh, it it works. Uh, that's about I can tell you. But uh, so we'll just close that, and rather than using it as uh, in a download folder, which you could, uh, what uh, I tend to do is uh, put these uh, in a uh, OPT folder. So what you can do is just go ahead and drag it over and then move it. So it's a uh, single file. Uh, the other thing that you can do is uh, many of these uh, app images will have a, a long names and what I tend to do is just make it very short. In this case you may want to just make it a, a blender app image. 
actually you, you can just name it uh, and I believe that you don't even need app image uh, but uh, I just uh, it's just out of the habit and then and then uh, go ahead and click on it and then uh, you'll uh, again fire it up and then we'll give it a second just to make sure it files uh, and we'll close it and uh, you can go ahead and make a link out on, uh, up on the uh, uh, desktop here so you can fire it up from here and then you click it on it and you click on it again just to make doubly sure so it works and then we'll close and then rather than having it uh, we'll just clean up a, clean it up a little bit and edit item we'll go to just use a blender and then we'll see if we can uh, uh, have a, a, a create a, a keyboard shortcut so we'll say keyboard shortcut it would say control shift and B as in boy control shift and B and then close now we made it uh, look a little bit uh, better but uh, let's see control shift and B see if it uh, works indeed it works So and then you can further uh, modify the icon by going into File Blender and Set Icon. Just to download a uh, small icon for Blender, I've uh, typed in Blender icon and I have this uh, here and this is the 300 by 240 pixels so it's a fairly small size and it should be appropriate so I'll just simply right click on my Vivaldi uh, browser and then go to the image and then save image as and then I should get a, uh, a little we'll just rename this blender PNG is fine and then uh, what uh, I tend tend to do is go to my home and then icon icons uh, uh, a folder dot icons folder and it changes the uh, name here icons folder and then we'll see blender I uh, PNG and then I'll just go ahead and put one in there and save it and I've already done it twi uh, twice so I'll just overwrite it and then what we'll do is go to the uh, the other and then we'll go to blender and uh, we'll go to file blender and set icon and then we'll have to get into the uh, the uh, folder where the icon is so there is this is the uh, home folder root dot icons and then here's Blender, PNG, which I just downloaded, and we'll just put it in, and you see this. So that uh, completes the uh, uh, how to uh, download and uh, use the app image file.